Hey, it's Chris from The Droning Company, and this is our first ever episode of our new series called Drones on the Road. Now, this series is where The Droning Company hits the road to visit the world's most interesting drone manufacturers, as well as manufacturers of UAV-adjacent technology. To kick things off, we visited our friends at Dragonfly, Inc., now, Dragonfly is a North American-based company with many locations throughout the continent. However, we chose to visit their Blanco, Texas location, where we took a closer look at the Commander 3XL. I can't wait to share everything I learned while on the road visiting Dragonfly, so let's do some drones on the road. Now, when you think of a commercial UAV, what is it that first comes to mind? Is it something that is a little bit larger, that is capable of carrying very heavy payloads for things such as deliveries? Or are you thinking of something a little bit smaller in its form factor, that's capable of discrete missions such as thermography, mapping, LIDAR, you name it? Well, what if I told you there is a solution that has the best of both worlds? That's where the Commander 3 XL by Dragonfly Inc. comes into play. Now, this drone is marketed as the Swiss Army Knife of drones, meaning it can do just about anything. And the only way to really find out if that was true was to visit Dragonfly and see for myself. So I flew into Central Texas, where I landed in San Antonio and split my time between San Antonio and Austin, two beautiful cities, meanwhile visiting Blanco, Texas every day to see just what the Commander 3 XL was capable of. My liaison and point of contact for the trip was Dragonfly's programs manager for UAS Programs Aviation. His name is Zach Rolf. Zach wasn't just the guy that made sure I had everything I needed to be comfortable and happy while visiting Texas. He was also my point of contact for all things Commander 3 XL. On day one, we opened the trip by getting me more familiar with the Commander 3 XL as well as some of its general specs. The Commander 3 XL is 64 inches inches by 36 inches by 12 inches when fully assembled with propellers attached. It weighs 33 pounds when not sporting a payload and can carry up to 22 pounds for a maximum takeoff weight of 55 pounds. Its max flight time on one set of batteries is around 55 minutes. And when it's carrying its max payload, it's still capable of around 20 to 22 minutes. In short, the Commander 3XL is an absolute tank. It may very well at this point be capable of everything Dragonfly is telling me. But when we're talking just general specs, that's really just scraping the surface, even though they are super impressive. I needed to talk to Zach a little bit more in depth to learn more about what the Commander 3XL was truly capable of. One of the big aspects that we've been talking about is how we have advertised as a Swiss army knife of the drone fleet. Uh, and the best way I personally view that is that there is a lot of functionality within that. When you take a utility knife, um, or Swiss Army Knife, there's a lot of different components in there. The best way to view the Commander 3 is that we have given you a few of those tools already, but the rest of that slate is wide open for you to insert your tool in there. Um, and that kind of speaks to my language as far as what is currently known in our industry and then how it has developed in the past years and forward leaning years is that we want to give you tools now, but also make it future proof so that you can add something six months from now or you know multiple years down the road from now to truly do the Swiss Army Knife for you, your counterpart, or whatever other people are doing in their vertical of the drone industry is that we want to give you the baseline capabilities, but then you as a user really help define that Swiss Army Knife to your use case or your user um, and your flights that you do with your drone. Um, so there's a lot of great use cases with first responders, uh, utilities, inspections, a lot of the uh, photogrammetry base, LIDAR base, and a lot of good use cases with that. Um, but there's a certain aspect that's allowed to flourish with that when you have the capability to carry more than that three to five pound weight with our 22 pound weight limit. It gives you flexibility to either add heavier cameras and uh, sensors, or what is the future generation of drone platforms a year or two down the road? Is it more multi-cameras? Is it multiple sensors? Is it more data? Is it cellular connectivity? There's a lot of open-ended conversations there, and that's the beauty of this platform, is it allows you to take what you need right now, add what we know, but then also leave room for what is unknown and could be developed in future years. And speaking of payloads, let's talk about what the Commander 3 XL is capable of carrying on board. And I don't just mean weight. As of right now, it has five different attachments that you can put on the bottom for a variety of different UAV missions. Those attachments include a FLIR Duo Pro R camera, a 24 megapixel RGB photography camera, 
a 10x zoom RGB camera, a 24 megapixel RGB mapping camera, and the Red Edge MX mapping camera. We have our current offering of payloads, but the great thing about coming over to the Commander 3 ecosystem is that whether you have airframes or sensors and payloads from your existing airframes that you want to carry with you, we do that. You come to us and say, I want to buy your airframe, but my concern is I want to bring all my suite of sensors I have right now. That's a yes from us. Absolutely, come talk to us. We'll develop, we'll change whatever adapters need to be due to make sure that you can bring that whole ecosystem that you're already comfortable with and put it on our airframe. Um, that and the flexibility to develop future iterations of your sensors and your payloads, uh, whether it's technology that exists exist now to make sure that your uh, you know, time and resources that you've put into that workflow carry over. That's something that we do every day, all day with all of our customers. We might advertise that this is our baseline model and this is our configuration, but the reality is that that's just the entry point. That is where we can get started with you. But then when you come to us with your established business, we can enable you to carry that progress forward instead of forcing you into our system of workflows. We work with you to make sure that that can be integrated to enable you to have your continued success as a drone pilot. Maybe one of the most impressive things to me in terms of the Commander 3XL was its ability to be modular. The modularity on this drone makes it extremely easy to make adjustments and parts replacements out in the field. In an offline conversation that I had with Zach, he mentioned that the modularity was something that Dragonfly was aiming for when it came to the engineering of this UAV platform. Their philosophy is, if you're able to just take off a broken or defective part and replace it with a new one, that makes sure that you can get back up in the air and do your mission as quickly as possible. Other UAV platforms don't have that level of modularity. You have to send the drone in for repair, make sure that they have the parts they need in-house, and then you have to wait for them to actually get to your drone in the queue. With the Dragonfly Commander 3 XL, that is not the case. All you have to do is order the part that you need and you're good to go. Once you have it, you just replace it on the actual drone and you're set to continue your mission. This type of modularity on a UAV platform saves companies time, money, and makes them more efficient when it comes to in-field operations and repairs. The way it breaks down into two boxes, and although it is a uh, medium to larger size drone, its ability to be a modular platform to allow multiple opportunities, whether it's payloads and sensors, um, but also the functionality for it to be mobile um, and set up at different sites as needed. Through that process, we have two Pelican cases it breaks down into, and when we set it up, this is the final construct of it, but the way that the arms and the legs of the aircraft fold in, the motors disconnect from the fuselage, and then the way that the propellers are quick release uh, with the ratchet systems to it, it allows it to break down into a more manageable package to put in vehicles or trucks um, for movement to different sites. And if all of that wasn't enough, Dragonfly's main aim with the Commander 3XL was to make sure that it was easy to learn and use for pilots of just about any level. Dragonfly understands that the pilots that are gonna be flying these things aren't necessarily natural drone pilots. They may be employees belonging to a company that has part 107 licensure, but maybe doesn't have a lot of hours behind the sticks. They aren't professional pilots, if you will. We've taken a lot of time to craft that the key aspirations or key components when assembling the drone. Uh, we've made different colors for red, as you can see with the propellers on top um, and some of the latching mechanisms. That way it's intuitive for all users, uh, whether it's a large company or just a single operator, uh, to know how to properly assemble the aircraft. Uh, the next iterations that we've learned from is that this is intuitive. Uh, we want to make sure that anyone can understand how to assemble our airframe and not make it a complicated puzzle that is burdensome when you're out in the field. Uh, in addition, we've developed a lot of great processes, uh, such as the legs that retract. So whether you're capturing data for your business or another company, you don't have the um, hindrance of any legs getting into your data or pictures during that time frame. Um, the additional things is that it's all carbon fiber, so it's extremely lightweight and can allow you to have the maximum payload that's allowed um, for our capabilities as an airframe. Um, that and the design of it allows it to be a future concept to allow to, for flexibility for different cameras, different rail systems, different connection points. Uh, you know, we have our suite of things that we've already connected and we're expanding that, but there's a lot of great ideas that come from the field and the end user that the way that this is designed in a very, uh, you know, flat and open concept allows for future iterations, whether it's something that you and your company bring to the table or something we develop. It's a nice collaboration to develop this airframe for now, but many years to come uh, to make sure that you get the most out of your expense into, you know, purchasing and developing this platform for your company. 
Of course, hearing that a drone this size and this capable was easy to fly left me feeling a little bit skeptical. And there was only one way to clear that skepticism. That was to take the drone out into the field and see it in operation firsthand. So, Zach, myself, and UAV pilot for Dragonfly, Sean Gibbs, all loaded up in the unofficial Dragonfly UTV and rode out to an open field on the property to see just what the Commander 3 XL was capable of. All right, today we're flying the Commander 3. We launched it by doing our left control stick down and to the right and holding until the motor's arm. From there, you just commit to the landing and that is the extent of the actual operation for lifting the aircraft off other than your normal ground safety checks with our software um, and other pre-flight inspections. The Commander 3 has a flight time of approximately 55 minutes with no payload. Uh, that can flex depending upon the weight that you have carrying it, uh, but 55 minutes is the uh, estimated flight time with a full battery and no payload. Additionally, the Commander 3 has um, moderate weather resistance right now in the high IP50s uh, with us working towards a long-term goal of getting up into the IP60s. Um, so we don't recommend it flying in a thunderstorm. Um, obviously there's a lot of safety principles there, but if you would like to fly it or get caught in a light uh, precip forecast when you're trying to come back home, then it shouldn't be an issue with the aircraft. Um, but obviously due regard to your safeties and protocols for the operation you're doing. Currently on this Commander 3 that we're flying today, we have the FLIR VO Pro. Uh, it is a infrared camera that has a nice user interface to record pictures and or video. We are, have the ability to view it live in our uh, software program and uh, trigger imagery from either planned missions and or manually from the remote controller. The Commander 3 is user friendly in the fact that it follows most of the guidance of the average drone in the drone industry. Uh, the two control sticks, uh, our current control system has a almost game system like controller that is very ergonomic and user friendly with all the other uh, buttons or assignments that we have within the controller labeled as such for their operations with some flexibility depending on your operation. While flying the Commander 3, you can do geofencing for it to keep it in the box for your airspace. Uh, and or other limiting factors as far as distance, altitude, and all those good parameters to stay in your assigned airspace that you have or within whatever uh, applicability you're doing with your uh, airspace and flight operations. All that is easily accessible through our software integration um, of our apps and remote controllers. Now, seeing all of this take place firsthand was extremely helpful in clearing my skepticism. Despite a deep trust I had in Dragonfly, everything seemed maybe a little bit too good to be true. And the only way to clear the last remaining bit of skepticism that I had was to actually fly the Commander 3XL myself. And after a little bit of conversation with Zach about the nuances of the flight on this drone, he allowed me to get behind the sticks and fly it for myself. That's right, yours truly had the opportunity to fly the Commander 3XL, and let me tell you, it was nothing short of a dream. This thing flies and handles just like anything you would get out of Best Buy, an RTF drone that is ready to fly right out of the box. It's got altitude hold, it's got GPS positioning to keep the drone in its space in the airspace, and I gotta tell you, it's really simple to fly from the ground station. Now, did I do anything real crazy with the Commander 3XL? No, I didn't want Zach and his team to think that I was a Yahoo that was just gonna fly it wherever I wanted to fly it and do whatever I wanted to do with it. I maintained a very clear visual line of sight and kept the flight pattern on the drone pretty simple. I just quick up and back down a field and it was just as simple as that. But I gotta tell you from the very short experience I had flying the Commander 3XL, it was really easy and really fun, despite the fact that it is about the size of your average coffee table. I was intimidated at first when I picked the controller up, but as soon as I got it about halfway down the field, I knew that everything was under control and that I could trust the Commander 3 XL as a very capable UAV platform. Dragonfly Inc. is one of the leading innovators in UAV technology within the commercial and enterprise sectors. And after seeing the Commander 3 XL in action, I can tell you I'm not surprised by that fact at all. 
all. This thing is a very capable platform and any operation, no matter if you're a data collection operation, your delivery operation, whatever the case may be, if you need UAV tech to successfully do the jobs that you are assigned, the Commander 3 XL is a worthy investment of your time, resources, and money. My closing thoughts on the Commander 3 XL are this. They nailed it in every single aspect. They nailed it with this drone. Now, even though I feel they nailed it, Dragonfly is committed to continuing to innovate when it comes to their Commander series and any other drones that they manufacture, and the Commander 3 XL is no different in that regard. They plan on continuing to bring new technology to make it more and more capable, but as it stands right now, this thing can accomplish anything you might need it to accomplish. It's easy to set up, use, and fly. It's got a phenomenal flight time of 55 minutes with lighter payloads and up to 22 minutes with heavier payloads. And speaking of heavy payloads, it can carry almost up to its own weight, which means that larger deliveries are extremely possible with the Commander 3 XL. It's a super modular drone, which means all you have to do to replace broken or defective parts is order that part yourself and you're set to go. It snaps into place just like it would any other part and you're ready to go and you're ready to get your mission back off the ground. That modularity is crucial in saving time, money, and resources for companies. The Commander 3 XL is available for purchase. You'll have to contact Dragonfly Inc. to learn more about pricing and how you can get your hands on a Commander 3 XL. Take it from me, the Drone Geek. This is definitely a platform that is revolutionizing the way we look at commercial and enterprise UAVs. We've got links down below in the description of this video to make it easier for you to find out more information about the Commander 3 XL as well as Dragonfly Inc. But we're curious about what you think. Let us know down in the comments below. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you really liked this video and you love drone content made for part 107 drone pilots in the United States, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon while you're at it too. Until next time, this has been Drones on the Road with Chris. Have a nice day.